<sighs> what is going on with the Dallas Mavericks so far? The Dallas Mavericks are not a great team right now. And it's really, really disappointing to see, especially if you're a Luka Doncic fan or a Dallas Maverick fan yourself. There's a couple of reasons why I don't think that this team is really as good as they can be. For one, I don't think that Christian Wood is getting enough minutes on this team. I don't think that um, they're, uh, they're supporting enough around Luka Doncic for him to really be great. They only have like three ball handlers on this team, maybe. And right now, some of the players even on this team they're so far just being really disappointing like a guy like Tim Hardaway Jr a guy like Dorian Finney Smith have not been shooting the ball well especially Reggie Bullock uh Bullock excuse me the way that he shot last year and even the year before that man it's almost night and day it's very concerning to see what Reggie Bullock has been doing recently uh hopefully that this is just a cold streak like Luke had had in a couple uh previous years but right now it's looking really bad not only that, but up until this point, I think one really bad move from the Dallas Mavericks has been the Seth Curry trade. The Seth Curry trade uh, for them to get Josh Green has been an ultimate disaster. They have not looked the same ever since. And overall, their offense has just looked <laughs> really, really bad. Excuse me. I'm coughing right now. I'm a little bit sick. But like even no intro needed, bro. Like This team is literally dependent on Luka Doncic. This team needs Luka to do what he's doing right now on a consistent basis to win not not to win like against the best teams in the NBA no they need to do this to win against any team in the NBA they need to do this to win against the Pistons the Pistons and even then they didn't win against the Pistons yesterday like like let's just look at this the game yesterday where they played against the Pistons bro like they they they, they had Luke going off. They had Luka going off. But again, that's just not enough for this team. This team's defense is all right. Don't get me wrong. This team's defense is actually pretty good work. Uh, even guys like Spencer Dinwiddie and um, Christian Wood are putting up offensive numbers to compliment Luka. But after that, <laughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm super sick. But um, it's still really concerning to see how they are just not scoring consistently like it, it's just really bad this this uh game though they did score a lot so that's definitely a good thing but even then like Killian Hayes going off is definitely not a really good sign Marfa Bagley Bog like this team legitimately shot like 50 40 uh if they had good free throw shooters they would have shot 90 percent but like bro th that nah it, it's just very concerning to see from a team like the Dallas Mavericks Again, their offensive and defensive efficiency are definitely good. And they're still even in the net rating of a plus. So I'm not concerned of whether or not this team is going to be a good team later on. My whole concern is whether or not they're going to win enough for Luka to really just be like, yeah, I want this like whole roster. First off, this roster is not good enough for Luka. I think that he still needs a secondary ball handler outside of Spencer Dinwiddie I think that if they were to pursue a guy like now I'm not saying that this guy has to be Kyrie himself but a a person of value of Kyrie if he's able to do that then I think that this team would really benefit from a lot a lot of Luka off the ball but the thing about Luka off ball is that he can't do that right now because this team literally needs him on ball like 24 7 it's really bad this this offense does not operate with Luca off the court. Also, every game that he did not play, I'm pretty sure they they lost. Like he has played, uh, he hasn't played one game. Yeah, they lost this game. Like <laughs> it's it's really bad. And if I'm not mistaken, every game that they played where Luca does not score twenty points, they've lost. They lost this game. They lost this game. Uh, they lost this game. They lost this game, they lost this game, and this game. Those are all games where he scores 20 points. Like, if he scores less than 30 points, they're not winning that game. You understand how bad that is for a team to really do? The, the Mavs are legitimately failing Luka Doncic right now. They need to be in their trade bag this off or not off season, but more so mid-season, trade season. I don't know what they're going to do. I'm not sure how many picks I do have. Uh, I 
probably gonna look up that right now, but they need to make a bunch of moves for Dallas Mavericks picks. They need to make a bunch of moves for ball handlers. They need to make a bunch of, they may be able to even get Kyrie during the trade deadline if uh, the Brooklyn Nets are going to blow it up. But that's something that I'm not sure if they're going to do. So, yeah. Uh, future draft picks. All right, this is great. Ah, uh, this is like kind of confusing. So for 2023, they don't actually have their old draft pick. Uh, that's kind of, and but they have a bunch of second round picks. So they actually do have their 2021 first round, uh, 2025 first round, 2026. Okay, so they they do have a trade. They can make some trades. The only thing about this team though is uh, I'm not sure how many of these guys are able to even get you know um when we look at people who need to be ball handlers or people that are able to give away some ball handlers i don't think that there's even that many teams maybe the charlotte hornets because uh terry rozier is actually expiring this year i'm pretty sure let me just check but terry rozier is actually not having a good year himself i don't know what they're gonna do with that uh, oh wait didn't he sign an extension yeah he signed an extension Okay, I was like unsure about that, but even then they like they won't even try try to trade for Gordon Hayward because he's like a walking injury, bro. It's bad. Um, even teams like Washington, they are locked in with Bradley Beal. I'm not sure if the the Mavericks are even even able to trade for him. Um, you have to get these guys out of a draft. And I think that their biggest, one of their biggest mistakes was definitely letting go of Jalen Brunson. Cause I think that Jalen Brunson does add a little bit more dimension to this offense. And the fact that he's doing this on really good efficiency this year from two is really concerning because they could have had this guy on this roster. Cause he's actually doing like, he's doing like a sub all-star kind of level in the New York Knicks. The fact that he's doing that on the New York Knicks is kind of crazy. Cause I think that he would not get the same amount of touches, but a similar amount. I think he could, he could still average like 20 points per game on Dallas Mavericks, but who knows? Um, even teams that aren't like the best, best still do have their like number one point guards, like, like, like the Houston Rockets, and uh, the San Antonio Spurs. I think that we're in like a point guard drought where if you have a good point guard, you're, you're pretty much locked in. But if you don't, you're kind of like cooked because like no other team is going to give up a point guard from anywhere. So it, it's really bad. So I, I don't know who they're going to go trade for. But let me look at some trade targets real quick. Like currently the only guard that I think that is really worth it uh, would be maybe even Terrence Ross or uh, Cole Anthony, but even then, I'm not sure if those are really the ceiling raisers that you want. I think the Dallas Mavericks are kind of in a very, very bad, they're in a very, very similar situation to a LeBron James in the Cavaliers for the first stint, man. It's looking really bad for Luka. So I want to end it off on this note, though. Luka is definitely putting up some of the best stats that we've ever seen ever honestly if he's able to keep this up i don't know what to say this may be one of the best off, like best offensive seasons ever from any type of star but the fact that luca is being held down by this roster is disappointing the fact that this team is not even in the top 10 seed like if that season were to end today they would not be in the play -in. a team like the utah jazz a team like the sacramento kings would be ahead of them like come on man i don't know what to say but Luca needs to realize one or two things, whether or not this team is going to be serious or whether or not this team is just going to leave him to, to bite the dust because this can't keep happening. If this keeps happening, we're going to see a prime Luca being wasted. Like we're not seeing enough of the Dallas Mavericks trying to get Luca some talent. You could be like, oh, well, they try to get Chris Apps for Zingas. But I, immediately after they made that trade, they made quite literally some of the worst trades I've ever seen. Again, like the Seth Curry trade. And then, even though I would say that they really did benefit from trading away Chris Apsports, I guess, getting Spencer Dinwiddie. I'm not sure if they really, really did a net positive overall. I just think that Luka just got a lot better. Like, I, uh, even though they did get Christian Wood, they're not utilizing Christian Wood enough on the offense. It makes no sense. The fact that he's a six-man is crazy. He's easily the second-best player on that roster. If not, it's probably uh, De Spencer Dinwiddie. 
but he gets less shots than Spencer did Whitty. And he's averaging more points, I'm pretty sure. So it, it makes no sense in my opinion. It makes absolutely no sense. Let me just check before I like speak some bullshit though. Yeah, he's, he's, he's averaging literally one less shot and averaging more points. It's crazy. And now I think that Christian Wood would put up some like monster numbers if he, you know, he was actually playing 30 minutes per game. If he was playing uh, well in tune with their offense. But you know what? Just a kid is like a really big disappointment as well. So I think what this team needs to do is go all in on Luka Doncic right now. I don't know who they can sign. I don't know who they could uh, trade for, but they need to do it ASAP. It's been your boy Nehemiah, aka Dio. Subscribe because you know I'm trying to post a little bit more content. Want to see a lot more, a lot more incentive though. But I'm still gonna do this no matter what. So I'll see y'all later. Peace out.